Okay, today we're going to go over the programming of your Stryker SR9 or 4. You have to get the cable from Stryker for this um, to get this done right. Okay, today Stryker SR94HPC programming. Uh, basically, you go over to Stryker's website under support, software, let her load up. Okay, there's the software right here SR94HPC software. Once you get that software, you're going to, of course, need the proper cable. And you're going to have to go over to the Prolific Driver website. The link here is not working. You can go to mycord.com for drivers, but you could also go right to the Prolific website itself. And standard driver right here. Okay, here's the address up here. I'll put the address in the description. So once you get it set up, there's a test. Mine tested on COM4. You go to your set COM. Here's the ports here to set the COM ports once you load the software. So you plug the radio in first after you install the software in a pro prolific driver. And then plug the radio into the USB port. Turn it on. Let it sit there. <coughs> Mine tested good at COM4. You click confirm. All right, so we'll go ahead and bring this back up here. Programming, set, com. I'm going to set it as four. Confirm it. Program, read from radio, or read from radio, this little icon here. Your radio will then show PC read across the display. And this cable plugs into the microphone port, just as a heads up. <laughs> it's not like your 955 where it plugs into the back. This will have a uh, telephone port, then a USB. Okay. My radio just made a beeping noise and it reset, which means the data was read from it. Okay. And in here you could set up your uh, emergency channels. Okay, should be AM, AM, 9 to 19 for AM. Group D you can enable. Okay. See, this is showing all your VFOs, memories. Okay. All your different bands. Okay, so your D band you can see is your CB band, and that's showing 9 to 19 as AM. When you go to your different bands like F band, it'll show 9 to 19 as FM. So I'm going to close it out without saving it, reopen it, let it reread from the radio. Again, the radio shows PC read across the display at this point. And it reads pretty quick. So, okay. Radio's going to reset again. There's a little beep. Anyway, that's your channel information. Let me mute the radio. Radio's muted. That's your channel information. There's your function setup. Okay. Backlight brightness, speaker volume, squelch level, ASQ function, ASQ level. Which is nice. Some radios don't have an ASQ on uh, level for auto squelch. Gain control display mode. You can display channel, frequency, scan type squelch or timer. Scan time 10 seconds. Okay. Auto power on. Mem modify off or on. Blah, blah, blah. High cut off. Busy off. NBA NL. Okay. As you can see, Roger Beep tones. All right, split set off. 
SWR Protect Max at 10. You could change it to like, uh, set your SWR to sail at 3. Alright, so that is your overall machine information. Okay, it didn't save it. I don't know why. Well, we didn't write to the radio, that's why. Okay, DTMF. There's your encode. Encode list if you want to use DTMF. I guess the lowest the SWR protect wants is 7. Let's see if we can change that to 3. Click away from that. No, nope. okay. SWR max is 7. See, it won't come. Anyway, that's good. Here's your DTMF. Here's your Roger beep. You can have up to 8. I don't think this thing has 8. I think it has like 2 or 3. This is the one I put as custom. That's for Roger beep tone 1. There's your key settings. You have the six keys across with three different key modes. Okay. Mine has the volume on the top right. I hit it again, it's going to be end. I hit it again, it's going to be TSQ. On the top left is mod. I hit it again, it's going to be display. I hit it again, it's going to be noise blanker. Okay, that's how these work. This is level one, level two, level three. You could change these however you want. Power, squelch, and volume are pretty much the three that you're going to need. Um, you could set them however you want on key mode one. Local message, there's a sales go. This is kind of like not able to get in. When I hit this, I reset again. Um, as you can see, I can't do anything in here. I can't put anything in this one. That's kind of like most of the software you have for these radios. That tab just doesn't do anything. But anyway, you have working key modes 1 and 2 and 3. You can set it to 1 and 2, 1 and 3, 2 and 3. Um, I leave 1, 2, and 3 set. But like I said, you're going to set these, these keys up to what you use the most. So say you really like to just push on the left side. So we're going to swap these as an example. So I'm going to put my volume on the left. I'll put the mod over here. I'm going to put my power on the left. And my emergency over here. I put my RF gain, I'm going to put my squelch here, and RF gain over here. Okay, that way I can use these three buttons, hit volume, squelch, and power on the left. So I'm going to go programming, right to transceiver. I could have also went file, save, and gave it a name and saved it as a file on my hard drive. I could also import it and saved file, save right off the bat. So this is going to write. The display on the 94 is showing PC write. Data input is finished. Okay. It rebooted, and I have my volume, squelch, and power on my left side. So... It did write that on the radio. Also, my Roger beep. I have Roger beep is set to one. You have five Roger beeps you can set. Okay, one is set to the one that I play. All right, so Roger Beep 1 is this one here. So on the 94s, you only have five you can set. So these 6, 7, and 8, they're blank for a reason. They're not programmed in. So 4, 3, 2, 1. So that's pretty much it. You set your key assignment, set up your Roger Beep. If you need to put the encoders in there, there's all your menus, your basic settings. Okay. And then that's your channel layout. 
and all that kind of stuff. So that is the Schrager SR94 software, how to go through it. And um, pretty much just like any of the other radios out there, you know, it gives you all the functions you could do here, and then you write to the radio. So I hope that was informative.